Risk Academy and today I wanted to talk about three things that every risk management training should include. So the three things are, number one, and I think this is pretty critical, the information and the latest research on how humans behave in the situations of uncertainty. How people, how human brain works in the situation of uncertainty. Now this is very different to what most reasonable people would expect. So there's really a lot of research has been done since 1960s, in the early 2000s, uh, 2000s uh, two people, Kahneman and Tversky, actually won a Nobel Prize for their research in the study of risk perception as well as other things related to e economics and behavioral economics. Um, there's a lot of information that every risk manager conducting risk awareness or risk management training should be mindful of. There are things like cognitive biases, there is, there are, you know, there's information on system one and system two thinking that our brain, brain includes. Well, all of this has to be an important element of any risk management training because that helps overcome the biggest confusion that people have in, in, in their mind is that we are managing risk every day. That is actually the biggest lie uh, that we've ever come across. Uh, we do manage our risk every day in our personal day-to-day -day lives. But when it comes to business, and the uh, British Institute of uh, Risk Management has done quite an interesting study on that, um, they've shown that our behavior in personal life and at work are two completely different things when it, when it comes to uncertainty and risk. So there's a lot of research on risk perception that must be a significant portion of any risk management training. So that's number one. Number two, integration into business, into decision making. And this is a critical element that uh, any risk management training has to cover. It shouldn't, I think we as a profession, we should stop talking about risk identification, risk assessment, risk mitigation, monitoring and reporting as a standalone separate process, as if, you know, risks are the objective in itself. They're not. They're just a tool to get to the final decision or to help us perform our business activities and achieve our objectives better. So instead of talking about risk identification assessment that 99.9% of the modern risk management courses do, you really should focus on integrating risk thinking into all the core processes. And depending on who you train, you should include specific examples on how to integrate risk analysis, risk identification into that particular process, that particular decision. So that's number two. And number three, which I also think is, is, is very important, is the latest laws and regulations and standards in risk management. Because there's a lot of thinking, there's a lot of work went into, for example, the most popular risk management standard in the world, ISO 31000. Close to 200 people from 30-something countries around the world were working and are continuing to work on developing and updating this important standard. And there's a lot of really fundamental important ideas inside the standard. So you should build, as the risk management professional who delivers training, you should build awareness of ISO 31000 to people who you are training. If you think there are more things that must be included in risk management training, do write it in the comments below. Uh, and if you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe to YouTube channel um, of Risk Academy. Thank you and goodbye.